preview. Word on the street, it is true that the President of the United States is going to pull the troops out of Syria, and it looks like he's going to deploy the troops to the border of Mexico. Matter of fact, just an hour ago, several major news networks are uh, breaking this information, and even Alex Jones this afternoon said sources within the Pentagon that he has had confirmed to him that Trump was pulling the troops out of Syria and going to be deploying troops to the border of Mexico to secure the border. Commander-in-Chief President Trump, uh, here's what they're saying. On the border with Mexico, Trump will deploy National Guard to intensify his crackdown on illegal immigration. Of course, that's the job of the U.S. Border Patrol. And they, and it is right now true that since Trump has taken over, we've seen a major decline in the numbers of people able to cross the border because Trump basically empowered the Border Patrol. It's the lowest numbers now since 1971, but Trump is not phased by that because that's not good enough. And he said, quote, until we have a wall and proper security, we are going to be guarding our border with the military. What? He decided and declared this this week. Now, uh, on today, Homeland Security Secretary uh, Nelson said the administration will ask governors in the border states to deploy their National Guard units as backup for Border Patrol agents. And in Syria, meanwhile, Trump wants to withdraw American troops that would leave, of course, maybe a volatile mix around some of the uh, parts of uh, parts of the country that's still under some different... But ISIS has been crushed. ISIS has generally been pretty well wiped out. And Russia is backing Assad with the Iranians, and Trump sees no reason to continue on. ISIS is dead. No more beheadings of Christians. But um, it really was, a, uh, you know, it's sad. But uh, Obama sat back and just let this go on and on and on. But anyway, uh, Trump feels that it's time to get out of Syria. We have more pressing uh, uh, concerns, and that's the southern border with Mexico. And it's not because of Mexicans either. It's really because of um, jihadis, uh, Middle Easterners, uh, folks uh, coming from all over the world through what they believe is a poor, a very porous, a very, very weak border and lack of wall and security. Now, in Syria, Trump will do this and says that the moderate rebels, the remnants of ISIS, uh, you know, these guys are all going to be kind of just twisted in the wind anyway, and the, and the Russians will probably finish them off. Now, the U.S. has about 2,000 troops still in Syria. Their job is to advise and to help the Syrian Kurds and the Arab forces battle what's left of the ISIS forces and to direct airstrikes against that group. Though ISIS has been defeated in most of the territory, including its de facto capital, Raqqa, remnants, of course, of the group remain hidden within the borders of Syria and Iraq. And keeping an American troop presence in Syria also gums up plans for Russia and Iran to expand their influence in the Middle East. It keeps Turkey from squashing the U.S.-backed Syrian Kurdish fighters who helped free Raqqa. So the White House is making some adjustments to step out of the way. They're going to keep some kind of special unit operational group with the Kurds, but mainly get out of there and focus more on the border with Mexico. Uh, this is a very interesting showdown that the President Trump now has with uh, the media, for sure, and maybe even Congress. But the President does have the authority to, to defend the Constitution of the United States, and he also has the responsibility to guard the borders of the United States of America. So, very interesting. We're going to see how this plays out. Like I said, Alex Jones already announced today during his live broadcast that uh, sources he has within the Pentagon are saying it is a done deal. U.S. troops are going to come out of Syria. U.S. troops are going down to the border with Mexico. This is during a process. It won't just be an immediate shift 
But over the next, I would say the next four or five months, this is what you're going to see develop. Let's keep a close eye on all of this. How does this work? Trump is basically saying, you give me the money to build the wall, then we can pull the troops back and the Border Patrol will be able to secure the, the border with the wall and the uh, high-tech uh, technological abilities to slow this thing way, way down. Yeah.